On the rest from the season, that's right, it is game number 14 of the top quads of season. That means it's the first match of the second half of the season's competition. Today, we take on Russing 92 as we look to keep that chase with a top place Claremont side. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along to Montpellier career mode where today, yes it is the business end of the season. We've got European playoffs coming your way in about five or so matches time. But for now, we've got a nice little easy run of lesser place sites in the top quartiles. You know what I thought we should do is make sure we don't lose any more key players. Now, we have just three players out injured today's matchup. Penavani, Rahlhag and Heron are out for between two weeks and a decade. So that means we've got two players coming back. We'll see them in a moment. But we have completely changed out all but one of our starting 15 from the last matchup. That's right, Max Malins keeps his spot in the number 15 jumper, seeing as he spent most of the first half of the season not even playing, as he just didn't seem to find that spark. Fullback seems to have been a spot as he's made some good performances in the last few weeks at the back. The rest of the team has all been changed, but it is the side of Russing we go next. We say, welcome back. Well, it's not welcome back, because they're playing at home, but it's good to see you again. Carlin Isles, he starts on the right wing for Racing. Last time he played Racing 92, he was injured, somewhat ironically, but today he is fit and he is ready to go. He'll be marking up against the man we've not seen much this season, Kirill Golinitsky, who comes into the team in the number 11 jumper. This back line of Racing, though, looks dangerous. Fakatawa, Fuku, Isles, Maria, that is your pretty much 12 to 15. It's a decent halves combination as well. Finn Russell and Maxime Machand will be wearing a 10 and 9. We did it backwards. Paylar comes in. He's with Darmon. It's the old firm from season number one. It's a completely new look pack as well. Geelong is his eight. Telegny's in. Sanconi's there as well. Up against them, Bernard LaRue is going to be an absolute monster. And he captains the team as well. So we've got to make sure we look out for him. Chusano will be at seven, and of course, it is the big Pat Blair at number eight. In the second row, Tucker Nakui for Racing up against Capelli and Willemse. And look out for this front row battle. We've got Homenage at tight end. Good to Sally Hooker. Benaru's back in the team on the loose. But look at Gogashvili on the loose head side for Racing. Come on, chat. Very good player at Hooker. And Ali Oz will be wearing the number three jumper. This is what I want to talk about is the bench. And I don't care who they've got because it's nothing compared to what we've got. Pretty much our starting front row is there. Garado, Gomez, and Bamba. Delfa Fanua is in the second row replacements. But take a look at this. Watson in 20. Hello. Bello 21. Laomape 22. And yes, the king is back. Mpimpi wears 23 tonight. Hopefully get those boys on later on in this matchup. I don't want to rush them back. I don't want to force them into anything. We are the superior side here. It's the 13th place. Racing 92 that gets the matchup underway. And it is the Welsh winger, Reece Samet, who pulls it in. And Montpellier will draw the ball back from the first phase. Away to Darmon. And we're going to look to play a little bit of territory. As the deep kick down to Maria finds... The fullback, and he crossfield kicks us right on our 22, and it's a bit of a chase back here. Golinitsky having to work for this, and he does not badly. Skinner breaks one tackle, Skinner. Whoa, he's thrown out to no one. Disaster pass from Skinner. Go to Sally. What a turn over there. And he's given it straight back away. Chat inside the 22. Falls his way into touch. Well, that was a interesting start. Bit of a blockbuster play. And I'm not sure why we've got a big yellow arrow well, no, it's not an arrow, it's a wiggly line. What's that doing on the field? Anyway, on we go. To the back it goes. And Paylag. Paylag! Oh, he finds all the space in the world. 
kick out of the top is half charge. His money here comes across. Big chase from Goloninski. Drags down the tackle of Akatawa. No one there for Montpellier. This could be a turnover though. Release. Numbers all. Oh, Gotta be a charge ref. Short ball. Looking for some numbers on the left side. Is rousing once more. Chat goes into contact. Give it to Sally. Over the top of him quickly. Deep. And finding Finn Russell. The Scotsman. Again, goes to Goloninski! Gets on the outside! He needs a friend though, because Fakatawa has chased him down! Like a villain trying to escape town! Here's Capelli off the payload pass. Bortier in midfield! Doesn't get enough room there. Talegni, he's a scrum half. A rare start for him. Belarus! In and out of the starting line up this season. Oh, lost ball! Back it goes to Rasing, and now through the midfield, and Fiku, dangerous runner, dangerous player. Now Fiku almost breaks all the way up over halfway. Michan goes around the corner, oh, big tackle on Russell. They continue on to the right hand side, dangerous again. What a tackle, what a pass, Miles, and he's given space to Manir. But the support line from Fiku ran out of space. The cover defence from Montpellier, pretty steady there, I quite liked it. Now remember this is 2nd versus 13th. A team with only one win, one draw, and 11 losses this season. Coming up against our mighty Montpellier, we lose the ball again. Now we're in trouble. This is right outside our 22. We've got to stop that in its tracks. Right, Michan. Maylands is up in the line, which is a bit scary because there's no one out wide here, and it will be a run in for us. In great tackle. Morris wrapped up. Maylands turns it over. Skinner gets the ball. Now we'll look to escape the way. Out of her own and goal almost. Golaninski holds the play up. Now he belts it forward. Darmon chasing. Michan leading the way. But coming across nicely was the big chase of Mora once more. Ironically, more and more. Not releasing. Penalty, Montpellier! That was slow motion. Don't know how that took so long for the referee. One man in blue and white laying on the ground. And what are we going to do here? Oh, I don't know what to do. Screw it, we're going for seven. This may be a mistake. But remember what I just said. This is 13th versus second. We're here to win. We're here for bonus points. Right, let's do this, lads. To the front. This is what I want. Give it to Sally. To Capelli. Oh, no, he's not giving it down. Tell Igning. No one there really wanting it. Golanitsky gets on the burst. It's a bit disjointed play there for Montpellier. Not really what we wanted. Oh, sh left side. There's so much room. Belarus thunders his way into the first tackle. Still here for us. We go open side. Sanconi! Such a powerful runner. Scored a number of tries to the blue for Montpellier. Off those strong carries. Capelli! Back of the team! Back of the points! The big man thunders his way over the line. Right next to the padding. Well, he's been quite a standout over the last two seasons, if not three seasons. Mikel Capelli does it again. Great run there from Sanconi, playing in the sixth tonight. But this second line, big fend, trying to stop him was Galfiku could not get a whisker on him. Big play for the big man. And Capelli, every time he gets to the starting lineup, he makes it so hard to drop him. Well, at least we've been justified by taking that kick to the corner over an easy three or even a tap or something silly like that we, we slowed things down made our decision thank god it's come off for us because Racing we're in a great chance to turn it the other way but we've managed to push them back Golaniski's big break down the left that was an important moment in this matchup here is Gulanisky finding Skinner Talegni loves to run forward Samet was eyeing up a bit of space. Now Hamanach is there. If we can link these two up, we could be up to something. We are. Ray Samet again. Little chip over the top of Monair. The Welshman going for the corner. Ray Gavis. Oh, outstanding. Oh, Geelong taken high. And Montpellier. Now they're starting to rumble forward. What a play from Ray Samet. And it's when you've got the king back on the bench. 
Let the wingers start to come out and play. Right, let's get this. Oh, I think he's done it. Oh, he has. The marker come up right on the corner flag. An outstanding kick from Thomas Damon. Now, if you did miss it, they have lost their inside centre. Vakatawa, who's gone. Now we're going to make it pay. Here is Reece Seven. Oh, man, of a heavy tackle. Now that you the big boys. Capelli wants another one. Geelong, no, he goes out the back. Here's Skinner. Slowly but surely, they've got on that ski. Ranging to the corner, he's taken down short. It's all here for the forwards, though, if they want it. So much space. Bitterus! Someone backwards. Lost ball, surely. Oh, Russing have been robbed. Paylag wants a nibble. Capelli for two! Oh, he's put back two! Thought he was in there. Big boys doing the big work. Bitterus! That one won't be stopped! And Bitterus scores the try! It's all the big boys in the front row and the second row. And a big try for Eddie Belarus. Now that puts us up possibly to 14-0 right next to the sticks. I thought Capelli was in there. He blockbusted his way past the player. We know has defensive frailties. That is Carlin Isles. But still a second hit coming in from Russell and Fuku as well. Getting in the dirty work. Stopping us right on the line a number of times. But could not stop the big boy. Belarus getting over for the try. That is what we like to see. This is, like I said before, a poor team in Racing. Now they're a man down as well. We had to take toll. We have to put them to bed and get a bonus point. We can't let this slip. We are much a better team. And this, I feel, is where we're at our worst. It's against the lowly sides. It's almost that we take them for granted. We expect just to run away with a victory. Today, though, so far, We've worked hard for our 14 points. And we look good on the scoreboard and we look good on the field as well. All the possession, none of the territory, but that doesn't matter. We're doing well. Just one mistake, half the tackles, no penalties conceded. Things are going well. Let's double that score, make a challenge for ourselves to be at least 28 points on the board by full time. If not, if we extra marks, if we get to 35, how about that? We will bring on the reserves as well. I'm thinking around maybe 50 minute mark. The likes of the king. Marcus Oliver Bippy ready in the wings, waiting. And it's hard though because we've got two very good performing wings tonight already. That's a turnover. Hamadaj, the way to Skinner. Darmon, short passes here. Golanitsky up in the line as well. Benaroos doing very nicely. Gets it early to Geelong. Where's the speed? Oh no! Not another one. And it is another yellow card. Well, this is the end of Racing 92 tonight, surely. Maria goes to the bin. And it is disappointment on the faces of the Racing fans and players. They've failed to trouble the scorers yet, and they lose their second man to the bin. Right, lads, let's do this one. Let's get 21 on the board. Go to Sally. Throws in nicely. Paylag. Skinner. Bottier. Reece Samet. Oh, he's done terribly there, Reece Samet. It's another poor tackle and another yellow card. Oh, my. This one. Oh, it's red. It's a straight red for Mora. The left wing is gone. And it's bad to worse for the home team. Russing lose another player. I can't even see where this is going to go. Dumb on, just drill it. Into touch. Find those empty bright green seats. I'm not sure why they're bright green. There's some sad sap up there with a the blues flag. It's like he missed the wrong bus. Right, let's get this now. Two players missing. Company they got a red card. Paylag. Darmon, oh, there's so much room here. Bortier, so oh, to set ball. They still managed to escape. Rossing doing great defensive work here. Chuzano, loses it. Belarus, Tarengi. Oh, and a Skinner. Let's not make things too complicated. Golanitsky on the left. The try is scored. And Montpellier are starting to rumble with a two-man advantage. 15 on 13, this is always good.
gonna be the way. Well, it was a great turnover, wasn't it? Really good to get that ball from the position, but Belarus over the top of Chuzano. And then it was from Skinner's perspective, spit it out, an easy one. Just a catch, take the rib tickler, and flick it off to Golanitsky, who grabs his try. Rare chances for Golanitsky this season. We will make changes, actually. While well, Darmon lines us up, let's go to the bench for, oh, who do we take off? Who do you think's been average? I mean, golaniski has been outstanding. Reece Zemmett's been good. I think, I think maybe we do a little bit of this. Malin's up into the line. Malin's to one, no, Malin's to the right wing. Uh, and to the, who goes to the midfield? We want to see what the capabilities are of like a player like Reece Zemmett. Or actually, no, no, no. Let's get Mapimpi on. That's the play on the left wing. And then, no, not that one. Uh, we're, jeez, I've, I've stuffed this up completely. Reece Zammett, yes, he's not at 14. He's in midfield. Let's get Laomarpe on. And let's switch those two around. There we go. And I don't want to do much more, actually. Watson, I want to bring on. Uh, he will come straight in. To that number seven jumper, boost up for Talingni. And I don't want to risk losing anyone else here. Lamarpe, Mpimpi, and Watson are enough, so let's go with just that. God, if one of those three get injured, I am going to be kicking myself. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Right, that's a good little nudge. Thomas Darmon is having a good little game here. Good enough there, I feel. I don't need to bring on Bello, but I do want to give a little bit of game time to Mpimpi and Watson. And it just makes sense to bring Lau Marpe on because he's just bloody fun. He just is. And there's 14 men as well, so there's going to be space. There he is, the red boots of Lau Marpe. Let's get some ball. Oh, my goodness me. Send him off. Send another one. Go on. Get out. Don't argue. Just go. Send yourself off, mate. Give yourself an uppercut. HIA. I think they all need an HIA. Just for all the stupid stuff they've done today. Give them all an assessment. Mental assessment of crazy tackle technique. Who coaches this team? Diabolical. Right. Mark Azola. Where are you, my friend? Mr. Pimpy. Right, Paylar gets it away. There he is, my Pimpy. Darmon. Whoa, nice little off right there from Darmon. Spreading in the tackle. How about that from Finn Russell? But Geelong turns it over. And we could be in threat of losing this one as well. Oh, damn it. I want to get these guys some ball. It's a turnover to Rossi. Nice ball from Mashan. Gets it out wide. Now we're in a spot of bother. Oh, Lamarpe left for dust. But Pimpi has the second goal as well. Carla Miles. Penalty. Montpellier. And I think that was Hamish Watson. Number 20. Over the ball like a flash. And he is what we've missed in that back row. Although the last couple of episodes, we've been very good in the back row. But he's going to make us even better. Now, Placines, Waitago, Kamada, Watson. Four into three. Who misses out from that? Lineouts. Gilda Sally the throw. The B team's performed quite nicely so far tonight. Here is Darmon running at the line again. Lao Marpe. He only knows one way forward. Beautiful offload to Skinner. Now wide to Malins. Where's the step? There it goes. Malins to the line. He stopped short. Oh, the ball popped out. Don't know where that came from. Sanconi's got it eventually anyway. It's been knocked on. Picked up from Paylug. It's come out the front of the hand from Paylug. Surely forward. It's a penalty. Back for the knock on. Not releasing the tackle was what it was for Rousing. But the advantage was still there from the knock on. My word. What a passage of play. Russing were trying to find someone who had a capable boot. Paylog got there. That's four ways. Skinner jumped on it and everyone's like, nah, Crouch. not interested anymore. Find. Right, let's get Mipimpi involved. I smell an easy running of a try. Right, little Mr. Mipimpi. Let's go classic. Where is he? B? I presume he's B. Skinner. Oh, Mpimpi! Welcome back! What a try! What an absolute ripper of a try! Simple stuff, but how close to the sideline did he get? Such a professional! Marcus Ola Mpimpi knows how to play the game. No question about that. 
Watch this beautiful play. Paylar, Damon into that midfield. Skinner, and then, boy, oh, that was close. Maria coming across, and the cheeky smile from Mpimpi as well, because he knows that was a little bit close to the sideline. Nice dive, though. Just a simple finish. I like it when players get in and just do those basics well. Let's sum this match up here. It is 26, about to be 28 nil. And harassing 92, two yellow cards and a red card. They've not been at these races at all. And that's a terrible, terrible play on the word. But boy, they have been left in the dust as we have burnt away at rapid pace. 28 nil, 10 minutes to play. Let's see if we can get a few more. Bashan kicking off again, up he goes. Well, that's a good tackle. I thought he was injured there for Release. a second. It was a bit slow motion. Let's get Mipipi involved again. I love another Mipipi try. Let's give it to Sally. Rear touch of him. Vimsa opens it up beautifully. Good tackle. Actually, ball and all. He couldn't get the offload away. Give it to Sally. Wants another go. Now, give it to Sally. is through. Sanconi is there. Boy, Release. he's had a good game as well as Sanconi. Not even in his favourite number eight. Malitz. Tried to brush straight through. Oh, what a bottle now. Marpe takes on the fullback. Bulldozes his way through. Three defenders left for dust. Any more? Come get some. Sanconi. Get in there, lads. Win that ball back. Paylug. Paul. Watson. Here's Skinner. Oh, do it again. It's now Marpe. The impact off the bench. Simply flawless from Montpellier. La Marpe, Mbimpi, and probably the most has been Hamish Watson. Simply phenomenal from the flanker. And he was even involved in this attacking play here. Paylug through the backs. There he was, Watson. Skinner held it up. Darmon thought he was going to get a rare try. He's been around this club forever, it seems. He's not scored too many, but he does have... The duty of the goal kicking. Well, we said 28 0 would be the goal at full time. It looks like we're going to cruise our way to the bonus level of 35 to 0. What a performance from Montpellier. Attacking wise, yes, very good. But defensively, to hold Russing to the donuts, especially at home, has been quite outstanding. There goes the whistle. The oohs and ahs around the crowd. Not too loud as they knew this result was coming quite some time ago. Their team, not out to stretch. And Montpellier have put them firmly to sleep on this one. Such a shame, a quality side. Here is Russing 92. So many good players. Yet the cards, the discipline, and especially that red card to Mora did not help them whatsoever. Five tries to zip. Makes reading that left side ever so easy. Zero, 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 and zero. But for the good, Montpellier tries to Belarus, Capelli, Golanitsky, Laumapa, and Mpimpi. The forwards started all off, didn't they? Capelli got the first, Belarus the second. Then the reserves pretty much come on and took over. Golanitsky had a good game, Anson Rizamit. But Laumapa and Mpimpi are something else. And Hamish Watson, sensational on the game as well off the bench. Dumb on five out of five off the tee to cap. What a display it was. And that just tells me when I read this as well. Position 19%. You just don't win games with 19% of the ball, especially a team against a team like Montpellier that have threats everywhere on that field. Two yellow cards, a red card. Talked about them enough already, but that is just woeful. And you can't expect to have 19% of the ball Three cards, one of them red, and win a game. They were outplayed, outsmarted, outdashed, and just smashed. And now that the game's over, I feel like it's comfortable to say it. No injuries. Oh, thank God. Another episode of No Injuries. Just brilliant stuff. Three players still out here in Ralhark and Petabani. But what reminded me of that was the mail. I saw one and I was like, oh no, who got injured? I've forgotten. But it's no one. Internationals, yeah. Goloniski's off to play for Russia. So, he's out, it says, this weekend. So, let's see if those guys, they can't be out because Goloniski's still in the uh, starting lineup. So, he's not out. And we saw the likes of uh, Bello was selected, Tauf Fanur was selected. Uh, those guys are still here and fit to go. We've got another player back from injury. Oh, it's Heron. I 
I thought he was still out for another week. Oh, it was. We've had actually a break. We've had two weeks off. What's going on with that? Let's have a look at this, shall we? Yeah, look at that. 28th of January, 18th of February. Haven't played for, that's pretty much three weeks that we've not played. Only two games in February. Wow, we might be back to fully fit. How good. How so good. So that means, who's back? It is, uh, what, Heron? Yes, yeah, so Heron could get a start. We'll bring him back next episode. And it's Bayonet, as you just saw, next time we are at home as well. And Bayonet are right down the bottom. Five wins this season, though. Quite a lot better uh, than Racing, who somehow aren't last with just one win. Bonus points keeping them above cast somehow. I'm not sure how they're doing that. Uh, ridiculous to have one... Oh, they've had a draw. I was going to say one win, and yet they're not last. They've had a draw as well. Probably does help their cause. But it's at the top. We were really interested. But take a look at Claremont. They are... I mean, give them a title right now, and let's just start next season, shall we? Because they are so far ahead, and they are so good as well. We do play them again in a couple of few weeks. Here we go. Four weeks' time, just before we go back to Europe. So that is a big double header, And then the ever-impressive power as well. Proving to be a very good side this season. But we're doing all right. We're in second. Keep those home games coming. And we go home right till the final if we get that far as well. But for today, that is our episode done and dusted. A, a good win. A solid win. Bringing back players from injury. Everything went very, very well. Next one will be just as good. Taking on the woeful ban. I'll see you for it. Until then, though, thanks for coming by. And as always, take care of yourselves.